Okay. Now that the tree is ready, let's go and see how to solve it. So first thing we will say is, let's take a maxi uh, max decision. A maxi max decision, remember, is a decision in which you uh, look at the most optimistic possible uh, scenario. Uh, so when you're looking at a maxi max, you don't look at the probabilities. You're simply when you have uh, options you will look at what is the best option so in in a maxi max we will go something like this so um, if you look at the uh, if you look at the local machine there are two options there's a payoff of 1 million or, or a payoff of 500 million so in a maxi max what you would do is you would highlight the uh, higher value which is 1 million here in, in case of imported machine there's no chance of the payoff will be at 1 million and in case of repairs the payoff can be either 1 million or 200,000 so we pick the higher value which is 1 million so we've highlighted this now you work backwards on this so let's go backwards and at this point you would only so you're only picking the higher payoff at this point what you would do is you would calculate the value which of you have to subtract the cost from the payoff so if you subtract the cost from the payoff for a local machine it would be 1 million minus 200,000 which is the cost so your payoff is 800,000 in case of the imported machine, your payoff is a million and you subtract 400,000 from that. Minus 400,000. And that means the payoff is 600,000. So the higher of these two payoff is 800,000. So that is what we're going to pick. And that is what we're going to write over here. So we write 800,000. In this case, the we go with this branch and we now calculate the payoff. The payoff here would be um, 1 million minus 100,000. So it would be 1 million minus 100,000. So that gives you 900,000. So that's what we will write here. So the payoff on this branch is 900,000. Now you compare both of these branches and you want to pick up the higher payoff. So the higher payoff here is 900,000. So that is what you're going to pick at this point. Okay. And hence the decision that you would take, you would, so 900,000 is the payoff. And this would be the decision. So the decision is that you're going for repairs. because that is the maxi max decision okay so let me just, just highlight the branch that we finally selected so this is the branch this is what the decision looks like in a maxi max okay now let's look at a maxi min in a maxi min situation we look at each all the options over here and we pick the minimum option so the minimum option here would be so let's pick, pick the minimum here so that's 500,000 this is a, let's pick 1 million and the minimum here is 200,000 so again let's go back to this branch over here and we subtract the cost from 500,000 so 500,000 minus 200,000, which is the cost of the machine, that gives us 300,000. In this case, it would be 1 million minus 400,000. And that gives us 600,000. So notice like, uh, so 600,000 is, is a bigger number 
so we will take that back and that means here we'll take this here and write 600,000 and from here we would take the number 200 and 200,000 minus 100,000 and that gives us 100,000 so here you have a payoff of 100,000 and here you have a pair so now when you're doing the selection you will pick the higher because maximum of these two minimums so and that turns out to be this decision so you will pick this decision and we'll put so the payoff is six hundred thousand and the decision will be to get a new machine new imported machine So there are two decisions so first first decision is new and the second one is that you go for an imported machine so that is how this decision a maximum decision is. okay lastly let's look at the expected monetary value for expected monetary value you start off by uh, computing the expected monetary value which is which you get by multiplying payoffs with the probability so this multiply by 0.7 that gives you 700,000 and this multiply by 0.3 gives you 150,000 so here 850,000 and you subtract 200,000 from this expected monetary value so 850,000 that gives you a expected monetary value of 650,000 here the expected monetary value is simply going to be 1 million minus the cost and that gives you 600,000 so we put 600,000 here the higher value between these two is 650,000 so we would put Take 650 and put it here and we'll just highlight that that is the option so remember so this time we noticed that i'm not highlighting any one of the branches because we're using expected monetary value so we're totaling these we're basically totaling both of these so it's not individual we the expected monetary value uses uh, percentages from both the branches Next, let's do the expected monetary value here. So that, this gives us 200,000 and this gives us 160,000. So we add them up and this gives us 360,000. And then with 360,000 less the cost, that gives you 260,000. We put 260,000 here and the higher one value between these two is 650,000 so that would be our decision then so in this case our decision would be like this and we will put 650,000 here and also we would then so the decision here would be then this is a decision And so it's basically we get a new machine that we want it to be local. So two decisions. So one decision new here and the other decision is to get a local machine. So that is the decision that we will take based on the expected monetary value. Okay. To sum up, uh, basically so we did step four steps so first step was to just make the decision tree uh, and uh, the second step was to uh, then take a decision based on maxi max 
third one was to take a decision on based on maxi min and the fourth one was to take a decision on expected monetary value in this case you you notice that in each case we reached a different decision depending on the decision making method that we selected and that is typically what you would have in a decision tree you have to make sure when you're making a decision tree that it is drawn properly all the numbers that you calculate are clearly shown and don't forget that the, when there is a cost it has to be subtracted from the payoff okay and the way you solve the decision tree is to when we were making the decision tree we were going from from the uh, remember like we were going from left to right when we are making it that's how you make a decision tree and when you're solving it you remember that you were going the other way around so we start from the right and we go to the left when you're solving it okay and when you're solving it now depends on you remember this that you have to know what decision making method you're using so in case you were solving it for maxi main or maxi max you just at every time that you come to a node this is a node and this is also a node when you come to a node you use that method for uh, deciding what value goes forward so in case of expected monetary value you basically have a value that is uh, based on using both branches so you know you might get the expected values and add them up but if it was only a maxi max decision then you pick the, uh, the higher payoff branch and if it was a maxi min decision you pick the lower payoff lowest payoff branch so make sure that you understand how to work with these um, branches okay i hope this was useful and i will recommend that you try some examples yourself uh, and make decision trees okay. good luck thank you